All right, guys, welcome to Note Taking Tuesdays. We are going to discuss about forces today, and by the end of this note taking, you should know the difference between a balanced and an unbalanced force, and also how to calculate net forces. All right, so what is a force? A force is a push or pull. Okay, simple definition. Now, with forces, there are two different kinds. There is a balance, and then there is also unbalanced. We are gonna focus on the balanced first, and then we will make our way to the unbalanced force. All right, so I created a graphic organizer to kind of help you differentiate between the two different types of forces. So the very first one is a balanced force. A balanced force is um, basically something that has a constant speed. Now, remember when we spoke about potential and kinetic energy and we said potential energy is stored energy? So that's basically the same thing as a balanced force, all right? Um, it does not have an acceleration, so make sure you understand that. So when we say it's a constant speed, that means that it's either not moving, so my speed, for example, will be zero meters per, zero miles per hour, um, which could just mean maybe I stopped at a stop sign or I'm not going anywhere, or it is moving, but it's moving in a straight line, okay? So there's no curves, there's no left or right, it's just going straight um, at a constant speed. So example, five miles per hour. Then we will go down to the unbalanced force. An unbalanced force is basically the same as kinetic energy, all right? So kinetic energy is energy in motion, so that's where we get that motion. It also tells us that we do have an acceleration. So having an acceleration means that the motion is either changing their speed. So I could start off as five miles per hour and I increase it to 20 miles per hour and then I slow it back down or I'm changing my direction. So I can start off as going straight for a little bit, then I make a right and then I go back straight and then I make a left, okay? so. There is the difference between a balanced and an unbalanced force. Now, with forces, we have to understand how to calculate it, okay? So in order for us to know that, we have to understand what a net force is. A net force is the sum of all forces, okay? These forces can be coming at us at all types of directions, but just remember that forces come in pairs, all right? So for example, I can either go up or down, or I can go from left to right. So if I'm presenting to you a force um, going on the left side, just know that there should be a force opposing it on the right side, all right? So these are just examples. So, um, if we are trying to calculate our net forces, we have to understand that if we have forces in the same direction, then we need to add it. Same direction as in, I have forces going both to the right or both to the left or both going up or down, okay? So if they're going in the same direction, we add them. For example, there's three different things listed here. So I have, one box demonstrating two different types of forces all going to the right, okay? So that arrow is showing that it's going to the right. So because they are both going to the right, if I needed to add these forces, that's why there's a plus sign there, then I would get my net force. I have another example demonstrating that they are both going to the left. Okay, so we have to make sure that we add these forces. Again, the last example, if we have forces on the same side and they're both heading the right to the right direction, then we still have to add. So now, we know about forces going in the same direction, so now we're gonna go on to forces going the opposite direction. 
If they're going opposite directions, we have to subtract, okay? So I have two examples that I will show you guys so you can understand what I mean. So first example, I have a force going to the left and I have a force going to the right. Because they're opposite directions, we have to subtract these forces. I have a force on the second example going to the right and another one going to the left. Again, it helps if you write out the directions so that you can see if you need to add or subtract. I've provided an example that you could see um, in the future during this week on any of the problems that you have to um, solve for. So, I have a an example here showing us that I have three no Newtons going to the right and I have 10 Newtons going to the left. So because I know that they are going opposite directions, I have to subtract to figure out my net force. With my net force, I have 10 Newtons minus three Newtons which gives us seven Newtons to the right. All right, the reason why, I'm sorry, seven Newtons to the left, Oop. okay? The reason why it is heading towards the left is because my 10 Newtons had a greater force compared to this three Newtons.